Hello and welcome back to another Genshin video guys. Today we're going to be breaking down Kazuha and everything you need to know about his build. For the 3.7 banner return he is getting, you're going to want to try and get him as many times as possible honestly. The more consolations you have on him the better. So I have all of his abilities almost completely maxed out. I just need one more on this for his normal attack. <clears throat> but his uh, elemental skill is his crowd control. It'll bring the enemies in and then you can plummet down and do mass damage and not and physical damage. You can either press it or you can hold it. If you hold it, it takes longer to charge and it also does more damage. The Kazuha Slash is his elemental burst and it creates a like barrier type field where it swirls every element. Well, the elements that are swirling in it for about eight seconds with a cooldown of 15 I believe yeah. <clears throat> and this cooldown is six seconds if you press it and then you can hold it but he's gonna give you a giant giant boost in movement because one of his passives is it removes 20% of consumption rate for stamina. Which if you run two animal characters in your party, you already get this. But this makes it to where you only need to run Kazula as the animal in your party instead of two. Which is super convenient. Upon triggering a swirl reaction, Kazula will grant all party members 0.04% elemental bonus damage. So, whenever he has that swirl you're gonna get an elemental mastery bonus damage. <clears throat> so as long as he has some elementary mastery, you're gonna get some sort of bonus, which no matter what you do, you're always gonna have some sort of elementary mastery on him. The artifacts I went with, I have a crit damage, an attack, an attack. A lot of people will tell you to put element mastery or energy recharge on these. These are great, great recommendations. But not for me. I want him as a main DPS. I want him to hit as hard as he possibly can. I don't want him swirling everything to get all of his damage. So you want to have some attack and then the crit damage, of course, to keep the crit damage going up. We have the black sword for our crit rate to help out on hitting big shots. We also have an additional HP regeneration of 70% of the attack. So that's why you also want to have him have a decent attack too, so he gets a pretty decent amount of HP back if you're not running a healer. So, kind of a best of both worlds there. Gives you some crit rate, gives you some healing. And finally, our stats look like this. We have about 2,200 attack. We have 132 element mastery. <clears throat> 207 crit damage. 64 crit rate. 122 energy recharge and 15 animal bonus all of that is going to take you to about 20 to 30k c1 you're going to be hitting 20 to 30k consistently all right the more constellations of course the harder you're going to hit <clears throat> but that is my full coswell walkthrough um his movement abilities you can also spam one of his talents, his elemental skill here. You can use it as you're gliding to help bring you higher in the air so you go further in distance. I will demonstrate that as well in the video. But it's also something key to keep in mind. He will help you with movement. He'll help you on the field. He will help you swirl. And he can take out tons of enemies at once. He is top five character. Hands down, for me, he's number one. Yeah! 
Yeah. 